Now uh, for something a little more offbeat, which concerns the comic actor Will Kemp, derided in his day for his pettiness and boastfulness, who wrote a book called Nine Days Wonder to convince a disbelieving public that he really had danced all the way from London to Norwich. The book is known to Oxfordians because it contains a comic allusion to Macbeth and was published in 1600, which of course sends a wrecking ball through the modern Stratfordian dating system. Here to tell you more about uh, Will Kemp and Nine Days Wonder is Claire Salomon and his Society of Strange and Ancient Instruments. <laughs> Who was Will Kemp? Well, that's a good question. He was a famous individual at the time of Shakespeare's theatre. He was one of those artists that went off on a tangent and must have really annoyed his fellow actors who were trying to stick to the script. Maybe he wore out his welcome and was eventually evicted from the, from the Globe or from Shakespeare's company. In order to keep his career going, he, he danced to Norwich. He's going to dance the marathon, and he's going to donate the money to Kemp. Will Kemp was the most famous clown or comic actor at the end of the 16th century and he worked with the very famous playwright Will Shakespeare in the company of the Chamberlain's Men. Will Kemp was what we call a physical comic. He had a routine which involved a lot of dancing and the audience loved his dances and his jigs. And his jig was a kind of play danced to a Morris dance. And when he left the Chamberlain's Men, in order to make some money to keep his career afloat, he embarked upon a journey dancing from London to Norwich, which became known and printed as his Nine Days Wonder. We think of the publicity stunt as a very modern phenomena, but actually it's rather delightful to find that it was going on 400 years ago, and this is exactly what Nine Days Wonder was. of taking Nine Days Wonder as the inspiration for this piece is that we're able to explore secular music, songs and dance from right across Elizabethan society. <laughs> In Elizabethan and Jacobean times, uh, many people would have instruments in their house and a very normal way to have an entertainment in an evening is to go to your instrument chest and take out what's in there and play the music that you've got to hand. So uh, we find tunes from these times uh, arranged for virginals, which are little keyboard instruments, arranged for vial consort and for mixed consort. So this is absolutely perfect for our group where we have an incredible array of rather peculiar instruments. And so we're taking very much the same approach, taking the tunes from these times 
and enjoying playing them, getting them to work with the sounds that we have. A modern Elizabethan jig. Well, back then, at the end of the main play, somewhere like the Globe, the clowns would come back on after the curtain call and present some little knockabout comedy play with music and jokes and bawdiness and playing off the audience. This is what I've attempted to do, to write a short modern verse playlet with um, rhyming couplets and songs. So I took as my starting point for this, an inspiration for this, um, William Kemp's famous falling out with Shakespeare. He left Shakespeare's company, and that was part of why he said, I'm gonna do my big walk to Norwich. So I have put it into the present day, and I have two guys called William, one Will Kemp, one Will Shakespeare, and they are descendants of those two famous guys, and there is an antagonism there between them. Four hundred years ago, the audiences would have been much more used to this kind of thing at the end of their performance. Uh, this is a principally a music-loving audience. We hope that they will embrace the spirit in which it is offered, which is that of fun and raucous daftness. <laughs> 